Broncos Bengals. Ouch, that hurts. Romy's here. <laughs> Let's talk to Romy about what the Broncos did wrong yesterday. Good morning. Good morning. Well, the sad thing is they did so many more things right yesterday than they've done in the past few uh, games, but... Mm -hmm. Again, it was too little, too late. The Broncos actually beat the Bengals in every stat category except for two, those being points and turnovers. And, of course, if you can't get the most points, you can't win. And turnovers, again, continue to plague the Broncos. They cannot seem to get through games without turnovers. Big costly ones there. The C.J. Anderson fumble uh, in the fourth quarter led to the, the Bengals getting ahead, getting the touchdown. C.J. Anderson in the locker room, was he was in tears. Mm. Uh, so there's a lot of motion with all the players right now. So um, playoffs, do they have a chance? Did you just say playoffs? I, I said Playoffs. Because I, I want to know. Playoffs? Playoffs. Playoffs. <laughs> playoffs. Talking about playoffs? Is there a chance for the playoffs? <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, I suppose everyone could just, everything could go crazy, and mathematically there could be a possibility. But realistically, teams that lose seven games, they don't make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. uh, teams that lose six games have trouble making the playoffs. If the Broncos win out, they'll still only have nine wins on the season. So it's hard to imagine that they really can make the playoffs with a 9-7 and seven record. And they still have to go to Oakland. They still have the Kansas City Chiefs. There's a trip to Miami, a trip to Washington, so East Coast. So there's a Thursday night against Indianapolis. All of them they could win, but we've been saying that all year. Mm. We have. Yeah, exactly. All right, you make the quarterback change. I think that... This one, I'd say, is almost a definite. Obviously, no guarantees, but there's a lot of speculation going into this game. If the Broncos drop a seventh game, that they will switch to Paxton Lynch. And it seems like the most appropriate thing with Paxton Lynch, you want to see what you got. You drafted this guy in the first round, so put him out there, put him out there for the rest of the season, see if he is the quarterback of the future, or, okay, in the offseason, do we need to go go after a, a free agent quarterback or draft a new quarterback. Mm. The only way you know is if you put Paxson in there. Okay, Romy, thank you so much. We appreciate your insight. Thank you can always get more sports from us right here at CBSDenver.com.